Women down, women down. Welcome back to Vlogmas, my love, and welcome back to Vlogmas day four. Today is the Sunday, so we're doing like a little loopy loop um, of content. But I just have over 39 degrees um, high fever right now. Not feeling great right now. I've got very like chills and headache, cough, sore throat, and like really bad chest pains. And I just feel very like cold, but hot. But I'm gonna take a COVID test just to rule that out. And just ordered a bunch of dim sum. Look, only this can cure me, but I don't even have an appetite. Oh, that's when you know I'm bloody ill. Anyway, enough of me whining and moaning because nobody likes that. Let me show you what I've ordered for dim sum. First of all, I have seal my favorite crab and prawn dumplings. No, that's a lie pork and prawn dumplings with the crab roe on top. Prawn dumplings, the crystallized version. You know the drill, holy trinity. Delish, and there's four of each. We have this one, which is a new one. I've never tried this before. Prawn with snow pea dumpling. Snow pea, it said on the thing, it, it translates to dal meal, which is like one of my favorite Chinese veggies. So I'm intrigued about that. It's like packaged like a little, like, dumpling money bag with a green wrapper around and a little sprinkling of crab roe over the top so i'm really excited to try you in my tummy we have a dipping sauce which i presume is for the churn fun which is this is the prawn with oh no wait there's a dipping sauce in here this is the prawn with tofu skin churn fun and we've got the little tub of sweet soy sauce over the top here and we just pour it over the top by the way, this restaurant is Tea House in Deptford, and it's one of my new favorites in London. Um, they're reliable, they're consistent, and in my personal opinion, they serve the best chicken feet in London, <clears throat> excuse me, that I've tried so far. This is the braised chicken feet um, with black bean sauce. We've got some chili peppers in it, which isn't spicy, but soft, Genastinous. It's got full of collagen, and this is what I bloody need right now. Um, we also have some crab soup dumplings. Again, look at this. It's also got some roe. Tea House really bloody love their roe, don't they? I mean, I am not complaining because I also love roe, so they can row, row, row my boat. Because they row my boat and float my boat. <laughs> Quite proud of that. Pun. We also have some pan fried dumplings, but this is different to what I normally like. Normally I like wad heap and these look more like, like not show gal, but like, I don't know, like yosa like, and I don't, didn't want that. I wanted like the thick, thick ones, you know? And it comes in a little dipping sauce. Finally, let me put this back. We have some congee. You can choose between um, century egg and pork, or you can have ginger and fish slices which is what i've opted for it gives you a generous amount i mean i don't really want to open it like this because it'll fall but they've got like big chunks of white fish spring onion they've got very thin slices of ginger and you know when i'm ill when i'm sad when i'm happy when i need anything congee is always there to save me congee is like you know my version of like a cup of tea i feel like Every, I already feel better just holding this congee. It's like, ah. See, so yeah, I'm gonna pour that into a big bowl. Um, let's get started. <laughs> and also, I really need to wash my hair. Today, I was planning to edit like three Vlogmas videos and do a jump just stance and do my hair. But honestly, I feel horrific. And I know that I'm probably being super dramatic and there are obviously much worse things going on in the world so i'm just still going to try and take it easy but please excuse me with the vlogs over the next few days they might just be a lot of like home cozy content which is really frustrating because i've had like the busiest week planned of december to show you a bunch of things and i'm just literally going around now emailing everyone being like i'm so sorry to let you down like i feel awful um in all senses of the word i feel awful i hate letting people down with plans so fingers crossed it'll be all okay by tomorrow but luckily i have a bunch of content already filmed over the last week and the past few days so i'm going to edit all of that so if you still see me like prancing around being festive no that was a greater time <laughs> anyway let's eat okay every last drop i was my little spoon I've got white pepper. Put that over the top. Mix it around. Look, this is how chunky the fish is. Look, look at that. 
going to get two bowls and then also some chilli oil. Also have Siodel chilli oil, baby. This is what we're working with. This is the full spread. We have the chen fan, the soup dumplings, congee, the prawn and snow pea, the pork and prawn, chicken feet. We also have the prawn and then also the pan fried dumplings too. I am now tucked up in bed. I feel freezing cold. But I've just taken some paracetamol and just had some of the dim sum and some left over for later as well. And P has very kindly gone out to get some COVID tests because we can't order any in because it's um, out of stock in all of the supermarkets. And the one we did have, I did the little like nose sample. And also this is a little trigger warning if you don't like like if you're squeamish or you don't like the, the red things that flow out of us okay three two one right uh so when i did the nose sample um it was like a rotating it didn't go that high up it was just like normally you know um it was literally just like suddenly a gush of just blood from my nose and i rarely ever get nosebleeds and i hadn't realized and i just thought oh maybe it's my runny nose um because obviously i've got a bit of a cold as well so I did the other one and then suddenly it like dropped and I was like, oh, it's blood. And it happened to the second nose as well. And it's never happened in like the two years I've done a COVID test. So obviously I was just like, oh, and then P was sat down as it was happening and then saw it and like ran and got me some new roll. And he just like cleaned up the whole thing and bless him. Like we're still trying to carry out the swab, but obviously I think if there's like blood in the sample, it kind of makes it a bit void. Um, so he's very kindly <coughs> gone out <coughs> to get some excuse me tests so, so hopefully it's not <coughs> hopefully it's not covid um and that is just like a 24 hour little bug and i've got a really good cup of tea that he's made in my mug that emily got me for my 29th birthday a couple years ago look i love it it's like sunshine yellow i'm sure some of you might be able to relate but whenever i'm ill i always find like feel worse for not being productive which i know is ridiculous because if my family or my best friends were ill <coughs> or <coughs> oh, i can't talk and they've got a bloody fever i would 100 percent be like please rest please sleep and just do whatever you need, need to do just to like, rest your body but uh, it's bloody probably like capitalism and bowing down to it whatever and the toxic um hyper productivity in our society <coughs> i feel really really guilty when I don't when I'm just sitting there like watching something um, but I've brought my switch just in case and I've not told you yet I got a switch to celebrate um, my little BBC project and I was like waiting to do it I've been saving up for ages for a switch so I got the OLED, OLED, OLED screen and these cute little cases I've got like a little chick one excuse the finger marks the little piggy button and I've customized it with this case it's so cute it's like a little ice cream cone <coughs> with little kitties on it but i've been playing a lot of disney dreamlight um and that's it really on just dance so i might play a little bit of disney dreamlight because i've got quite a few quests and my people need me um and also I'm not, if you're playing chris if you're playing i was about to do a spoiler alert um but yeah if you're playing disney dreamlight let me know but otherwise it's a very uneventful vlog i'm sorry about that which is going to be me like this in bed. I've got some what's-its though. I could do a little mukbang of that later. Look. Hello, it's me again. I now have a cold towel over my forehead. It's kind of getting a bit warm now. But my fever's gone up. It's now 39.3 and I keep feeling well somehow. <laughs> Not laughing. My um laptop has been taken away from me because i was still like i need to edit my thumbnail of me eating raw marinata crab and he had to be very stern and was like sit down and rest so i've got this and i've got my switch over there um and some what sits over there as well oh yeah i'm gonna look what a look this is the best i've ever looked to be honest wow at what point should i go to the doctor because I don't also like, NHS is bloody busy, they don't need to deal with me having a fever. Ay, ay, ay. What a day. What a day. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I f I'm now scrolling through TikTok and I found one of this daughter's, um, of this mother making mimosas with frozen orange juice ice cubes and I'm like, that is a genius idea. So now I'm Google searching, will orange juice mimosas cure my high fever? Obviously I'm joking, but am I? Am I? Because I could do with that one right now. Anyway, I'm about 10 seconds away from destroying that packet of what's it's. You're mine. I'm gonna try and mess it up. 